Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can build a beautiful website like this one to host your podcast. So as you can see, this is a picture of yourself here, beautiful logo as well. And if you scroll down, you can have your podcast playlist immediately right here, which will open in a separate page. If you scroll down a bit of background story about yourself, this will display your latest podcast that they can listen to immediately from here. And right here, we have all the recent episodes. As you can see, if you scroll down, you have a few of them. And if you click on them, they will play automatically as well. And now let's scroll down again. As you can see here, we have a few testimonials of your uh, listeners and also the host. Obviously, this would be yourself and maybe a host or guest. And then finally, the photo section. So let's go back to the top here. As you can see, this is our podcast playlist. If I click on this, you'll have access to all the podcasts available on your website. We're also going to design a beautiful contact page with uh, Google Maps, your contact details, and right here, a contact form as well to contact you outside office hours. Okay, guys, so the very first step is to set up our hosting and register our domain name. And for this, we're going to use Hostinger. So we have negotiated special terms with them. You can save up to 91% discount if you use the link in the description below. So click on the very first link in the description below where it says mrweb.tv forward slash hosting. And this is going to bring you to this page. Again, this is a co-branded page that we have with Hostinger that gives you access to up to 91% discount, okay? So it's very important that you use that link. So once you're here, basically all you have to do is click start now. And as you can see, it's only $2.99 per month instead of $6.99 already, okay? Now, if you click on this, you can select your billing cycle and save even more money. So clearly, the longer your billing cycle, the more you're going to save. So if you were to select one year, you will pay $2.99 a month okay for the one year but after that the plan will renew at eight dollars 99 so this is the normal cost basically okay so you're saving here 108 dollars over the one year period now if you were to select 24 months basically you still paid two dollars 99 but in two years time you will renew at only seven dollars 99 okay so you're saving here 216 dollars now, if you select 48 months, so four years in total, you still pay $2.99 for the full year, okay, for every month. But when you renew, you will renew at only $6.99. So in total, you will save 432 US dollars. And all these three billing cycles here include a free domain for the first year, which is a nice gesture as well. Now, if you scroll down the page, you can enter your email address and log or log in using Facebook and Google, and then you select your payment method. So you have credit cards, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, and CoinGate. So very convenient indeed. And now I'm going to give you an additional coupon code okay so as you can see if you select for 48 months it would cost you 143.52 they will apply taxes on top depending where you're based in the world okay so based in ireland uh, myself i would pay 176 dollars and 53 cents okay so this is my total cost for four years okay now i have a coupon code so here you click on this and now you're going to type all in capital letters mr web reviews okay and then click apply and look what's going to happen so 176.53 and now we're down to 158.88 so you saved an additional 10 percent on top so this is the bargain of the century you know when you see the quality of the service provided by hosting i have all my all my website hosted with them you know and that's basically it now all you have to do is proceed to check out and then i'll meet you guys in the next step and now that you are registered with them, you can log in into your account. OK, so let's just click login. Use your email address and password. Very good. As you can see, now we are logged in into our account. So the very first step is to claim our free domain. So let's click on this together. And right here, you're going to type the domain name that you'd like to register. OK, so let's say, for instance, your domain name okay and then you can select the extensions so we have dot in for india dot me for personal website dot com for commercial dot xyz dot help etc etc as you can see a very comprehensive uh, selection here indeed so let's select dot com for instance as an example okay and then we have to check the availability now dot com being the most popular one chances are you will see this message here this domain is already taken Please look for another one, basically, okay? Then you have to look for a different variation of the same domain name. 
So in our case here, since we are building an e-commerce website, we're going to look for, for instance, to book e-commerce with Mr. Web. Okay, so let's check the availability. And as you can see, this one is available. So to register this domain name, if you're happy enough with this, all you have to do is click claim domain. So let's click on this. So to register a domain name, you need to add your details, business details or personal details that are attached to it, obviously, you know, and then all you have to do is click finish registration. So as you can see, our domain name e-commerce with mrweb.com is being registered and there you go. This is done now. And after this, all you have to do is click continue and we'll be redirected back to our dashboard, basically. OK, very good. And as you can see, it is now active, which means that your domain name is now fully registered. OK, so let's go back to our home page. And now we need to set up our hosting itself. OK, so as you can see here underneath, I have all these different plans myself because I use them for all my different tutorials. I have VPN server, uh, premium shared hosting, WordPress starter and cloud uh, startup as well. But basically yours will look something similar to this one. Premium shared hosting. So this is the one that you get by using the link in the description below. OK, so to set this up, it's very easy. All you have to do is click setup and then start now. And then we can follow the different steps. Okay, so what are you doing now at the moment? Are you creating a website for yourself, for someone else, or you already have a website? Chances are you're probably creating this for yourself. Are you building it yourself? Most likely as well. And what type of website is it? We are going to build an online store. Okay, this is an e-commerce. And then do you need help building your website? We're going to say no thanks because that's the whole purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to do it. And then we're going to create a new website. Okay, so let's, let's click on this and we're going to select this option here. So this is WordPress we're going to use as our main platform and then simply enter email address and password and click continue. There you go. So what we need absolutely here is WooCommerce. All the others are optional. So basically Monster Inside, Optin Monster, All-in-One SEO and Google Site Kit. You can install them, but your website will be very bloated and we don't really need them, you know. So let's click continue now. And then which look do you prefer? We're not going to select any of them. I have a much better solution for you today. So I'll skip. I don't need a template. And then we're going to select the domain name we just registered. Normally it should be there automatically, but you might have to click on the drop down menu and select it manually. OK, so let's click select. And then you have to select your nearest server to your target audience, obviously. So you're based in the United States, you have the choice between West Coast and East Coast. Uh, you have South America, Europe, and also India and Asia, South Asia. OK, so being based in Ireland myself, I'm going to select United Kingdom here, which is the nearest. OK, let's click change. And then now we can finish our setup. That's basically it. And now we can go straight to our WordPress dashboard or go back to our control panel, which is what we're going to do because we still have to set up our email address. OK, so let's click on manage site. And as you can see here, our website is running smoothly. So everything is in place and our SSL certificate has been installed as well. So everything is absolutely perfect. Now, let me show you how you can set up an email address for your website. So we go here to emails, email accounts select your domain name so at your domain name.com click manage and right here if you click on the plus sign here you can create a new email address for your domain name okay and right here enter the name you want to register so for instance info at accounts at your name at your domain name.com and then enter a password okay and all you have to do is click create and right here, they give you all the information required if you wanted to read this in any mail provider, like, for instance, Apple Mail, Outlook, Thunderbird or Gmail, for instance, you know, in which case you need your incoming uh, server, IMAP, SMTP and POP server, the different values. And also if you need to enable SSL and TSL, that's basically it. OK, so make a copy of this. Once you have this set up, you can click complete. And that's basically it. We're done already. And now finally, we can access our WordPress dashboard and start configuring our website. OK, so this is everything done for our server now. So we go back to websites. So we have our website here and now we can edit our website. So let's log into our WordPress dashboard. It's going to open a new tab. OK, guys, so welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So the first step is to do a bit of cleaning up because by default, hosting will install a few plugins that we don't necessarily need. So let's go to the plugin section first and right here, bulk select them all and then deactivate apply. 
And now do the same. So bulk select them all. Untick light speed cache. This is the only one we'll use later on, okay? And then now delete and then apply and then confirm. There you go. And now we go back to our dashboard and that's a much cleaner environment already. As you can see, we have a notification here. You can dismiss that as well. And now we go to our settings. We go to general. And right here, you're going to put the site title. So this is the name of your podcast. So here, I'm just going to put Mr. Webb's podcast. And right here, the tagline. So the tagline should help your visitors find out exactly what your, uh, your podcast is about, maybe, you know. So here, maybe discussing everything web related. And then scroll down the page, save changes. And now we go to permalinks. And right here, make sure you select post name. And by doing so, this is going to help you with SEO as well to rank higher in Google search results and get found based on those keywords you're going to insert in the title. And also from your business point of view, it's much easier to read uh, as well. And then after this, save changes. And that's basically it for our main settings. So now we can take care of the appearance of our website. Okay, so now let's have a quick look. So if we visit our site here, open in a new tab. And you will see that's a very basic layout, obviously, you know, this is using the default theme, the 2023 that comes with WordPress. So what we're going to do is just replace that with a much nicer one. So for this, we go to appearance, themes, add new. And normally you should have Astra here right there on top in the recommended ones. If you don't find it here for any reason whatsoever, you can always type Astra in the search box and it should be here. Now, if you hover on top, as you can see, you have a button here, install, click on that and then activate. Very good. And now we need to install the starter templates. So what are starter templates? Well, basically the ready-made templates that you just have to tweak. So it's going to save us a lot of time, obviously. And there is one built in in Astra specifically for podcast as well. So that's going to save us a lot of time. And this will allow us to design a very professional looking website as well. So for this, we click on get started. And now, as you can see, depending on your screen resolution, you might have to scroll down the page and find this button here where it says build your website now. So click on that. And now we need to select our page builder. Now, every podcast that we will publish will be like a blog post. So what we can do is use basically the blog editor, uh, the one that comes by default with WordPress. It's absolutely fine. So we're going to click on this now, blog editor. And as you can see, you have all these different templates, ready-made templates that you can use. So most of them are premium. So these are paid ones. And then you have free ones as well, like those ones here. Okay, so what you do basically you go straight on top here and type podcast. Very good. And as you can see, we have one here right there available for us and for free as well, which is even better. So this is creative podcaster. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what we need for this project. Okay, so I'll click on this. So now we can upload our logo. So as you can see, it's a white logo on a darker background. So normally you should have two versions of your own logo so select file here and as you can see i have a dark version and then a white version okay so we're going to upload both of them at the same time so we have them handy very good so i'm just going to select this one here and then select the right one here and as you can see we have a button here select so click on that and that's basically it as you can see now the logo is inserted immediately and you can change the size as well using the slider here maybe you want it a bit bigger maybe a bit smaller that's really up to you you know so let's go maybe 145 and then continue. And now we're going to select our color palette. So as you can see, my logo contains green in it. So I'm going to find something very similar. Maybe this one does match. And then you can select your font as well because a font is going to give a different feel, obviously, to your website. So depending on what you want to convey, you can select any of those fonts. As you can see, these are very nice, aren't they? Let's go maybe with this one here. I think this one has a nice uh, vibe to it. And then continue. And right here, basically, tick those boxes, all of them, and then submit and build my website. And that's basically it. So it's going to import all the demo content. Now we create everything from scratch for us in just one click of the mouse. So we just have to wait now a few seconds. And there you go, guys. All done already. And now we can click on this button here, exit to dashboard. Very good. And now we go back to our website and refresh. And ta-da, look at this. Wow, that looks cool, doesn't it? Very good. So we have this done already. And now let's take care of our main plugin, which is the podcast plugin. So you want to play podcast on your website. So we need an extra plugin for this. 
And this is the one here. Again, it's completely free on the WordPress repo. So the, the name is Seriously Simple Podcasting. So I'm just going to copy this and we go back to our WordPress dashboard. And now we go to plugins, add new. And right here in the search box, look for Seriously Simple Podcasting. So you can just type this all together. You know, you don't have to copy and paste it from that page. You can just type it here in the search box. And it's our very first one here. And make sure it's by Castos, okay? The company here with the, the whale. That's it, that's the one. So now we click install now and then activate. And now we have a short installation wizard is gonna help us set everything up very quickly, okay? So what's the name of your show? Or like we said, Mr. Webb's podcast. And what's the show about? So let's say a sm small description, whatever you want to say, you know, a quick description of your podcast and then proceed. And then right here, you can upload a cover image. As you can see, the size should be between 1400 by 1400 and 3000 by 3000 pixels. Now, if you don't have any way of designing this yourself, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. They provide also a free tool to design it yourself. So for now, we're just going to skip this step, okay? Unless you have an image ready. So I'm just going to click skip. And then we need to select our main primary section. So I'm just going to go with maybe business and a subcategory, maybe entrepreneurship. There you go. And then proceed. Now, as you can see here, they're going to try to get you to sign up for a free trial and then it's paid version. Obviously, we're just going to skip that because we don't need it all together, you know. So I'll skip this step. Very good. And we're done now. Okay, so now we can get started. So we go back to our dashboard now first. And we're going to install another additional plugin as well. So we go back to plugins, add new, then right here, search for seriously simple podcasting. And we're going to install the other one here that's called stats. That's the one here. Okay, seriously simple stats. So install now and now activate. And there you go. Now we have everything in place so we can start configuring our website the way we want it. So first, let's design the cover page as well, the cover banner. So for this, we go to podcasting and then settings. And then we go to feed details and then scroll down the page until you find this section here, cover image. So this is normally where the image should be. But if you don't have one, you can create one for free. As, as you can see, it says here, create a custom cover with our free tool. So all you have to do is click on this Dynamo. And as you can see, it's pre-populated with the website name and also a short description underneath. So you can tweak that, you know, so if I click on this, and I scroll down, I can add whatever I want, you know, so maybe a short description like this one. And then you can move it around as well, you know, just grab it, move it. And then you can change the size as well. You know, I can make it a bit bigger, maybe smaller, whichever way you want it, you know. And then we can move this as well. And maybe we can change the background, you know. And then we can go to background and then you can have an image or a gradient color, whatever you want, you know. So our website, our logo is mainly green. So let's try to find something that matches those colors, perhaps, you know, and if not, you can always upload an image as well. You know, you have a few images here as well. So maybe this one, that's very nice, isn't it? Now, obviously the font doesn't stand out much now, so I might change the color for black. There you go. And then maybe you can break this down in different sections because you can see it's overlapping with the, the headphones here. So if we hit enter and maybe up to design and enter again, and there you go. Now we can um, change the position maybe here and this will be just about perfect. And now once you have this, all you have to do is download it. So click download, save it on your hard drive. Very good. And now we go back to our WordPress dashboard and now we can upload the image. So upload file, select file. There's the image we just created, open and then select. Very good. So now we have it. And now scroll down the page and click save settings. That's it now. Done already with the initial settings, fully sorted now. And now we can create our first podcast and episode as well. And then after that, we'll take care of the front end. We'll design our homepage and the contact page as well. Okay, so let's create our first episode together. Okay, so as you can see by your side, you have all episodes and add a new episode. So you can click on this one first. And now we need to type a title. So what's the title of your podcast? So let's say maybe how to get web design clients for instance yeah that's a nice subject and right here underneath is just the same as using gutenberg the block editor you can type whatever you want here so i would type maybe a short description explaining what the podcast is about as you can see here welcome to how to find web design clients the ultimate podcast for web designers developers da -da 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 -da, you know so give a bit of context obviously 
So we scroll down the page and right here you can select what type of podcast is this. Is it an audio podcast or video podcast? Now in most cases for podcasts is usually an audio file, you know, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to select audio and upload file. So let's select our file. So I have one here I found online. So this one here. Okay, so open. And again, as always, click select. There you go. So we have it now. And then you can even add an image if you wanted to, you know, so you can upload a new image or create one yourself. Again, if you don't have any images, you can always click on Dynamo and there it is. As you can see, it's been auto populated. So how to get web design clients. Maybe you can remove this one here altogether. OK, so we just remove the bottom uh, sentence here. There you go. And all we keep is just this. We're going to put on top and we can look for an image maybe. OK, so we go to background image. And we can look for something maybe related to web. There you go. And then we could have this image here. As you can see, very nice. But as you can see, there's no contrast between the background and the font. So there's two things we can do. We can either change the font color or we can increase the text shadow. So let's change it to large. And there you go. Now we can read this properly or you can reposition it maybe at the bottom of the page like this, you know, whichever way. I think on top is better with a bit of shadow effect and it's fine, you know. Now we're going to just download this again and save it with the others there you go so now we can close this go back to our page upload new image upload file select file so there it is open and again select and there's our image now and then we're going to add the duration so maybe it's 42 minutes okay and the file size 22.3 megabytes and the date it was recorded uh, we're going to select maybe today okay there it is and then you have two different options here at the bottom. You can mark this episode as explicit. So if there's any bad language or something like this, you know, you can tick this box and you can also block this episode from appearing in the iTunes and Google Play podcast library because there, there's a way of actually sharing this publicly with other uh, platforms as well. So once you're done here, basically by the side, let me show you a few different options. So by the side, we have tags. So tags are like small keywords that will help your visitors find your podcast based on those specific keywords, you know. So we could have maybe, uh, let's say web design and maybe find clients or something like this. Okay. So that's fine. And then we have all podcasts here. So this is basically to add new podcasts. So it's a podcast name. So here is web design clients. Let's say, okay. And then add new podcast. There it is. And right here you have a subcategory as well. So it's up to you. You can break this down even in subcategories. So you have categories, subcategories. So that's basically what this is. Okay. Now you have the featured image. So you don't actually need this because we have our image here already. You can type an exhort and allow discussion. So do you, you want to allow comments on your podcast or not? Do you want people to be able to comment on this and uh, give their opinions and stuff like this? You know, see if you don't want it, just untick this. Otherwise, leave it the way it is. And finally, we have all the stats here. Obviously, there is no stats at the moment because we haven't published it yet. But if you want to come back later and open the page, you will see how many uh, people clicked on it and, and actually listened to it. Okay, so that's basically it. That's us done now. So all we have to do is click publish, publish again. There you go. So we're done with that. So this is how easy it is to actually create a podcast. Okay, so now we click on the WordPress logo. We go back to our WordPress dashboard. And there it is. As you can see, if you click on all episodes, there is the podcast we just created. And you would go ahead with as many as you want obviously you know so every day uh, when you create a new podcast or every week or whatever you can just create a new one right here and add your episodes now if you want to see what it looks like in the front end all you have to do is hover on top and you have view here so right click open in a new tab and this is basically what it looks like as you can see we have our image here and this is our player and underneath we have all the, the information that we provided obviously you know this is, this is our description you can even download the file play in a new window and you have all the information like the duration and when it was recorded. And if you want to listen to it, click on the play button. And there you go. It will start playing. Isn't that great? So that's basically it. And here at the bottom, you also have the reply. So if you want them to leave comments, your visitors leave comments, you know, and, and feedback on your uh, podcast. Well, yeah, that's right here at the bottom, basically. OK, so that's basically how this works. And now obviously you can create as many as you want which is exactly what I did. So as you can see, I created another few. So we have six of them all together. 
And I'm going to show you how you can create a landing page with all your podcasts so people can go through them and decide which one they want to listen to. Okay, so let's create a new page. Okay, so we go to pages, right click open in a new tab. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we have to go from one to the other. Okay, so I'll stay here now. And then from here, we're going to go to plugins. And you have the seriously simple podcasting. Uh, click on view details. And then scroll down the page until you find a section where it mentions the short codes. So right here, as you can see, episode short code. So I'll click on this. So you have a few short codes here already. And if you go back to the main documentation, you have podcast playlist short codes. So this is the one that we need. Okay. So basically, it's going to display all podcasts we have available for one specific playlist. So right here, what we're going to do is basically fetch one of them. So we're going to fetch this one here. Okay. Podcast playlist. So Control C. And now we go back to the page we are going to create. Okay, so add new and let's call this one podcast playlist. Okay, and right here, click on the plus sign and look for the short code block. There it is. And now paste that inside your short code and then publish, publish. And let's have a quick preview. Okay, click on preview, preview new tab. And there you go. That's what it looks like. So as you can see, we have our six different podcasts here. And if you click on any of them, it will display on top. So if I click on this one, or this one, or this one, as you can see, and it will auto play as well. So that's basically how this works. And I think that looks very, very nice, doesn't it? And obviously you can insert that on your homepage or any internal pages, wherever you want it. Okay. So this is how you can display a playlist, but you can do so with a series as well. If you want it to, you know, if you scroll down the page, as you can see series right here, and this is the short code you need to fetch. So if you grab this and now we go back to our page and replace podcast playlist with our series. Now you need to fetch the name of that series. Okay. So we go back here to our WordPress dashboard. We go to podcasting, all podcasts. And right here, as you can see, you have a slug. You need to grab that name. So basically whatever series you want to display and then paste it here in between those air quotes. Okay, so replace this one and then update. Very good. And now let's go back here and let's refresh. And basically it's going to display the same thing because this is part of the same series web design uh, series. Okay, so that's all the same anyways. So there are different ways of doing so. And then you could do so with different series. And then here you could have episodes and maybe underneath break this down in different uh, type of series as well and different categories. So that's another option as well. So now right here on top, as you can see, we have our logo is not displaying properly. Basically it's fine on the home page, but it's not on this page, obviously. So we have two different types of headers, one that's transparent and the other one that's the regular one. So for this, we need to fix this. So we go to customize. So right click open in a new tab again. Very good. So hover on top, as you can see, you have a small pencil here, click on that. And as you can see, this is our logo. Now, if you go back to the main menu once, you have transparent header as well. So I have the site logo and the transparent header. So basically we need to swap them and upload the other one as well. So transparent header, enable this. Now select the image. And for the transparent header, select the white one. So choose image and do the same for the retina display. Again, same image, very good. And now we go back here and now we're going to replace the one from the site title and logo. So click on this and now we're going to change this one with the, the blue one. So select, skip cropping. Very good. Now click publish. Let's go back to our page and refresh. Now, as you can see, the logo is displaying fine. If we go back to the home page and there you go, as you can see, that's displaying absolutely fine. So now let's customize our home page together. Okay. So how do you do so? Well, very easy. We go back to our WordPress dashboard and this time we go to pages and then look at the home page. As you can see, it's that front page and then click on it to edit. Okay. So from here, the first thing you'd want to do is to probably replace the image with a picture of yourself. So all you have to do is basically click on it. And as you can see by the side here, we have those options here. You can change the image or remove it altogether. So let's change the image. Let's upload a new one. Select file. And there you go, I found one online. So ideally it should be 960 by 960 because that's the same size as the other one and it should fit in perfectly, you know. There you go, as you can see now we have this. 
and then you also have a few different options here as you can see by the side you can change the size as well decide if you want it full size or medium size i would leave it the way it is it's absolutely fine as well you know now there's a styling feature as well here you can add maybe maybe add some border radius if you put 50 as you can see the image will be rounded all the corners will be rounded you know so again this is an option that's available but i think it's fine with the square uh, edges at the moment and now we are going to change this block here so if you click on it as you can see this is an info box so this basically there's a few different elements here as you can see, you have the, uh, the image icon, you have the content, and also separator and call to action, which is this button here, okay? And all of these is customizable. So first, we have with Mark Campbell and Ben Johnson. So here you would put your own name, I suppose, you know, or maybe just yourself. And here we have the main heading. So a daily podcast for creatives, which is not too bad, actually, but we're just going to replace this with web designers. That's it, a daily podcast for web designers. And right here, you put a small description, obviously, you know. Okay, so let's add a bit of text here, something else. Very good. And now we have the call to action button here. So how does this work? Well, if you click on it, basically here you go to call to action. And right here, you can put the link, okay? So you could put whatever you want. Here it says latest episode. Uh, you can have maybe see all our playlists, see all our podcasts or whatever it is. And then you can link this back to any internal pages. So do you remember we created an internal pages for all our playlists? So if you go back here, we go to pages, find our page. There it is. Okay. So that's the podcast playlist. If you hover on this, on the view button here, right click on it and then copy link address. We go back here and paste it here basically. Okay. There you go. So this is our podcast playlist. Now it will link back to that page. And then instead of latest episodes, maybe you can put podcast playlist there you go and then right here you can change the icon as well as you can see at the moment it is an arrow but if you click on this you can select anything really you know uh, it could be uh, maybe this one here the double angle or maybe whatever you know select just select it okay then insert icon there it is and now we can update and let's go to the home page and let's refresh okay so let's refresh our page and there you go that looks absolutely fine already doesn't it and now let's try our call to action button podcast playlist and there it is that's it perfect so back to the home page now and then let's continue editing our page okay so right here underneath we have subscribe and listen on a major platform and we have apple podcast google podcast and spotify i personally would just leave it the way it is because this uh, your, your podcast will be broadcast automatically onto those platforms uh, so I, I would just keep it the way it is because it's absolutely fine you know so if you scroll down the page, as you can see, a story behind Ursus Dollar, whatever it is here. So you could change this maybe and give them a small about a section about yourself. Maybe some of the reason why they should actually subscribe to your podcast and listen to it, you know. Uh, so here we could have maybe, let's say maybe a story of a 20 year passion uh, for web design. And right here we can put a bit of text, obviously. So it's very easy. All you have to do is basically start typing away, you know. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And then you have read more. That's really up to you if you want to link this back to maybe your about us section, about us page, you know. So if you go back to the home page, as you can see, you have about. So you could fetch this page, basically, you know, control C. And then right here, again, if you go back here, you can then insert the link instead of the hashtag here. Click update. And let's go back to the home page now. And let's test this. Very good. Scroll down and then read more. And there you go. This is bringing us to our About Us page. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. So let's move on to the next section. Okay, so here we have our latest episode. So you could link this to any episode you want. And maybe you could have the player right there immediately here. Okay, so first let's change the image here so you can replace this with whatever image you want. So let's change this to something else. And perhaps let's add maybe this guy here. Okay, so select. Very good. Now you can make it bigger. Okay, just like this. Perfect. And now uh, if you click on this again, this is the same info box as we had before, you know. So you can change the content here, type whatever you want. So latest episode. So let's fetch the title. So we have this guy here, like we said, you know. So this is the title. So let's fetch this. Control C. And then we can paste it here. Okay, Control V. And then you could have a very uh, short description here underneath as well. Now, instead of this button here that's not doing anything, we're going to insert our widget. 
that's linking straight to that uh, podcast okay so how can we do so again we're going to use a short code so if you go back to the documentation here so my podcast is managed in wordpress advanced installation plus de developer and find a single episode widget that's the one here okay and now right here click on this link here podcast episode short code because that's what we need we need the short code okay scroll down the page and find this one here so as you can see you have the podcast episode you have episode number and then you can put the content and the excerpt as well so Control c we go back here and again we're going to delete this one okay so basically click on those three dots here and then scroll down remove box and now we're going to add a new one so just click on the plus sign here again short code and then paste it here there it is okay so that's what we have now but now we need to fetch the id of our episode so for this we go back to our wordpress dashboard and there it is so you can hover on top now let me zoom in and as you can see the id of the post is 1794 so now we're going to insert this here okay so 1794 very good and now click update and let's put this to the test okay so let's refresh our page there you go and as you can see here this has been populated automatically with the title the the exhort and also the player right here so maybe we might one might want to remove this all together here okay so we go back here click on this and then the three dots then remove info box and all we need is this basically okay so click update again and let's refresh and there you go that looks absolutely fantastic and really professional doesn't it now if you click on read more it will actually open the page itself with the complete uh, explanation and duration recorded date and it can download the file and everything so that's absolutely fine the way it is now so let's move on to the next section again we go back to our block editor here scroll down the page and there you go here as you can see all our recent episodes and view all episodes and a few of them here so this is not a dynamic content at all this is just static content with an image and some text so you might want to replace that with an actual playlist you know so what you can do is basically find the whole section here and delete that remove container and we're going to add a new one ourselves okay so click on this and we're going to add well again a short code you know so click on short code insert it here and now we're going to fetch the short code again so this is the same as we had before you know is the one with the playlist so we go back to my podcast here playlist short code and then select any playlist you want to to display so let's select the generic one here okay so let's insert that there update okay let's have a quick look now refresh scroll down and there you go as you can see with all the recent episodes they will display here immediately on the home page and if you wanted to see them all you could link that to your internal playlist page that we created early on okay so what we can do is basically click on this scroll down the page we go to content and right here we have the link okay so if you go back to our pages so there you go you have podcast playlist so hover on the view here right click and then copy link address and then paste this instead of the hashtag so let's click update and that's basically it if you look in the front end that's what it looks like you have all your recent episodes just underneath so your main one your most viewed episode maybe or latest one and then all the episodes right here and if they click on this it's going to bring them to your latest page as well so this is absolutely working fine so now next we have the testimonial section here okay and now you can use this for different purposes obviously you know it could be what people say so it could be testimonials or maybe you can use this as uh, people you had on your panel maybe you, you, you that you interviewed or something like this you know either way it's fine but what you notice if you click on this this is a testimonial block you know this is used specifically for this but again you can use it for different purposes you know so now as you can see by the side you can define how many testimonials you want to display and column so it's two different blocks here you have one block one and block two obviously you know so you could change it maybe to just two if you wanted you know so you have two and as you can see here you have to click on this to go from one to the other that's another interesting layout again it's just a matter of preferences or you could have this one sliding and those one uh, static that's all the same you know so maybe you could leave it like that i think it looks cool now if you don't want it to auto play as you can see here with carousel click on this you have the option to actually dis disable the autoplay you know so that's basically it and don't, all they have to do is click on it to actually discover the next one that's it basically okay very good so let's move on to the next section 
which is actually the host. So this should be a description of yourself. And perhaps if you have more than one uh, host on your show, uh, maybe two or three or four different sections here. Okay. So as you can see, I have Mark Campbell and Ben Johnson. Again, that's really up to you if there's only one host. So I'll basically click on this and then you can click on the three dots here and then remove container. That's really up to you, you know. We're just going to keep those two here and then you can edit the content very easy. Just click on the image, replace the image right here, you know, with another one. And for the text here is the same principle. Basically type away and type whatever you want here and your name as well, you can change it. So that's very simple, you know, very easy done. So that's us done with the home page. So all you have to do is click update and that's basically it. So now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. So now let's take care of our contact page. Okay, so right click on it, open in a new tab. So there it is. So again, same principle, you know. So let's go to the front end first and let me show you what it looks like. So as you can see, we have a map here and then contact details. So that's really up to you, you know. Uh, if you have a physical location where you're inviting guests, maybe uh, on your panel or so, so on, you might want to leave the, 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 the actual Google Maps here because if they open this with the mobile phone, they can actually get directions immediately with Google Maps and it'll bring them there. If not, well, you can just replace this with an image perhaps, you know, so that's really up to you. So let's say you want to keep the Google Maps. Well, all you have to do is click anywhere on this section here and you will have those uh, options here by the side. So this is where you put your address, okay? So let's pretend we're going to keep this one here, 123 North, North Spring uh, Street, Los Angeles. So paste it here and there you go. As you can see, the, the map will display that address now. So you can also zoom in and zoom out, you know. So if you wanted to zoom out or zoom in, whichever way you want, you know, basically. Feel free to display it the way you want. And you have the height as well. So you can change this as well, you know, uh, make it bigger or smaller. I think it was fine at 880 the way it was. And that's basically it for the map, okay. So right here, again, you can easily change the content. All you have to do is click on it, you know. Again, this is an info box. And as you can see, all you have to do is basically type the address here and change the content. And you can do so with all of them. So right here, we have a form. So where do you fetch this? Again, this is a short code. And this is taken from a, an, an extra plugin that's in WordPress. So we go back to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, a WP forms here. Click on this. And right there, we have two different forms. As you can see, one is newsletter sign up form and the other one is contact form. So as you can see, have an ID here, 11, and this one is 9. So if you go back here, you might wonder which one is it here, you know? Uh, which one am I actually using? Well, it's very simple. If you look by the side, it says it here, contact form and not newsletter, okay? So that's the one, basically. And now we can make changes to it. So click on this. And now we're going to use WP Builder. So basically, this is a drag and drop form builder. Very easy to use, you know? So as you can see, this is our main form. So we have the name, last name, email address, subject, and uh, message. Now you might want to change this, you know, if you click on this, as you can see a first name, last name, or maybe go and make it simple, you know, just like this, your name. Keep it as simple as possible. Email address, subject, and here your message, basically. That's all you need. Now if you wanted to add a feed, maybe you want to ask for the phone number, maybe location or something like this, all you have to do is drag and drop it anywhere on the form. And there you go. Now you have an additional field, basically. You can make it required and mandatory as well. And then right here, you would put, for instance, phone number. Okay. And once you're done, click save. That's it. So now you want to make sure that the email will reach you. So you go to settings now and you go to notifications. And as you can see here, it will fetch the email admin address, the one that you registered with when you created the hosting or package, okay? Now you might want to change this all together. So ideally, your email address should belong to the same domain name that you're using for building your website. So in our case, we're using mrwebreviewstutorials.com. So I'm just gonna fetch this, control C, and now you make sure that you're using an email address that that's linked to that domain name that belongs to it. So info at Mr. Web Reviews and here the same from you're going to put the same email info at and then your email address. And as you can see, the error message is gone, meaning that you will receive all your messages now. So again, click save and you can also change the confirmation message. So once they click submit, they will see a message. For instance, here, thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. Now you can type whatever message you want. And again, don't forget to click save. And that's us basically done with this. 
And now if you go back to our page, click update to save it and now refresh. And the changes should normally have taken effect. And there you go, as you can see, now we have phone number as well. So that's basically it. So that's us done for the contact page as well. So now we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. And now there's only two things left to do. So basically we need to take care of our menu section and call to action button here. And also the footer section. That's basically it. And after that, we're done, guys. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. So let's take care of our menu section. So for this, we go to appearance menus. And right here, as you can see, we have home, episode, about, and contact, which is exactly the same way we have it on our uh, website, okay? So here, episode, we don't need that technically, you know, so you can expand this and remove. We're going to keep about and contact. And now we're just going to insert the page we created ourselves. Remember the podcast playlist, so tick this and add to menu. And now you can position it wherever you want, maybe just uh, after home, just like that, okay? And then all you have to do now is click save menu. And now if you go back to the home page and refresh, there you go, as you can see, home, podcast playlist, about and contact. And if you click on this, we have access to all our different podcasts. And now we have this button here, subscribe, that we can change as well. Again, we go back to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, customize, and now hover on top, click on the small blue pencil. And here you can insert your link. So it could be anything, you know, it could be subscribe, maybe contact us or reach out or whatever, you know, and link this to whatever page you want. So let's pretend you want to link this to our contact page, maybe get in touch. OK, so get in touch and then we're going to fetch the URL to our contact page. So hover on top, right click, uh, copy link address and then paste it here instead of the hashtag. And that's it. Now click publish. Very good. So we can exit of this. Now you can go back to our website, refresh. Let's click on get in touch. And this is bringing us to our contact page with the contact form. So that's working as well. So the last thing left, as we said, is the footer section. That's all. So again, we go back to the WordPress dashboard. And this time we go to widgets and locate the section that says footer. OK, so a footer builder widget one, two, three. So if you click on this, as you can see, this is to join our mailing list. And this one is your logo. And this one is the subscribe uh, to your email list, basically. OK, so that's what we can do. Well, if you click on this, now you can change the logo here. So by the side. So if you click on this, now we can insert this one instead. Select. Very good. So that's too big, obviously, you know, so you might make it a bit smaller. So let's change the size here. So you can change the width here, maybe, I don't know, 320. Let's try. And then you have to adjust the height manually until the ratio is just about right you know well actually i would try it even smaller you know i think that's still too big until you find the, the the right amount the right ratio basically okay so i think just just about there that's perfect so click update now and now let's go and check in the front end so let's refresh scroll down the page and there you go our logo is fine the only thing that's not nice is actually the font here it's not uh, really uh, readable is it so let's go back here and right there, as you can see, this is our text. Now we can change this, obviously, you know, we can customize this as well. So this is our blog. We go here into the settings and right there we can change and customize it, you know, so we can change the color of the text. So let's select white this time. OK, very good. So let's click update. And again, we go back to the front end and refresh. And there you go. That's a lot better, isn't it? So right here is just basically our menu section. And that's all. So we're done, guys. That's it. All done already. So perhaps maybe you'd like to find out how you can sell bus tickets online and create your own website. If this is the case, I'll leave that video right here.